Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today we're gonna be working with Name Beauty Unit. Um, they were nice enough to send me over this unit. Now I will say that it came in a 1B and your girl colored it. Um, if you guys are interested in my color method, I do have a, um, I believe like a tutorial some time ago that I did creating a similar color. Um, this time I did it a little bit different, but I love the way it came out. Um, so I will put those color combinations down below in the products that I use. Um, so today we're going to be working with this unit. Now this is an 18 inch uh, pre-made wig. Um, this is a 13 by 6 um, lace front. This comes with 150% density. Um, and I will say the number one thing that I love about this wig is that the lace is so freaking thin you guys like it is so damn thin um i love it it lays really really flat it was easy for me to apply um and work with my baby hairs i didn't want to do too much um i may post a picture of how the hair looked without wearing baby hairs um i love it either way but because you know i have an early hairline i tend to like to do baby hairs just on the edges this is a pre-plucked unit, so I did minimal. Literally, I didn't ha have to pluck too much, but I did want to make it look natural, but like I said, still keep it intact. And really quick, I did want to talk about what was in the box. Um, they actually sent like a little headband, which I thought was cute to kind of hold the hair back, as well as an elastic band in the box. Now this elastic band is the band that I did use on the hair. Um, the hair came with three combs inside so there's one on the back by the nape of the neck and then it's going to be two one on each side i always cut the one on each sides out because it annoys me this is just my personal preference and it's more so because i don't have any hair i did decide that i wanted to do another side part not as deep as my last one but i was still feeling it your girl was still wanting a side part so i'm just going to take a little bit of wax Got my hot comb ready and I'm just going to go ahead and comb out my edges. Go make sure everything is nice and straight. And yeah, then I'm going to go ahead and pop some curls in it. Um, honestly, this hairstyle literally took maybe 15 minutes if that. Um, so yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and finish the hair. Let me know what you guys think of it so far. I will put my thoughts down below from it, but I will say I don't have any negative thoughts about the hair so far. Um, definitely if you are interested just go ahead and hit me up um, you can always message me to kind of get an update on the hair if you're interested in purchasing from them um, if you have checked out Nay Beauty definitely put your um, can't even think definitely put your experience down below let me know how that was for you
All right, you guys, I'm just gonna finish laying, making sure everything is nice and neat. So I'm just taking my hot comb and going over my areas. Y'all let me know what you guys think of this hair so far. Are you guys feeling the color for Valentine's Day? Because I think, I really think that red is gonna be my color. I was thinking about doing a red lip for literally Valentine's Day dinner, but not really sure. So let me know what you guys is like rocking this hair. Um, so what I'm doing right here is kind of taking my tweezers, just making sure to kind of pluck the hairline. So I'm sorry, not the hairline, but the part. So that way it's not so thin and it's more realistic. And then I took a little bit of concealer and just applied that on the hairline. I like to do this with my units because it gives that realistic fake scalp type vibe. And so that is what this unit is. So yeah. It was so easy to work with this unit. Um, love it so far. Um, now the curls, I will say they maintain for maybe two to three days. You have to kind of buff it because the hair is so soft, but it's beautiful. You know, I've gotten nothing but compliments on this hair. So I can't wait to rock it a little bit more. But I'm kind of saving her for Valentine's Day. Let me know what you guys think. And if you guys are interested in seeing this look, let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and apply my NARS Lip Moisturizer. Then we're going to go into the brows. Now, for the brows, I am using Banging Brunette from Color Pop. And I'm just going to apply that on the brows really lightly. And then I also like to add a few strokes of this covergirl brow tint i will link it down below for you guys it's kind of been my new thing and it definitely helps with um allowing the pencil to stick to the brows and last all day um, so next i'm just going to take my concealer and i'm using my concealer in fun i'm sorry not fun but toffee from la girl and i'm applying that underneath the brows and then on top i'm going to use my Macau which is going to be from NARS and I'm just taking that foundation and applying that on the top just so we don't have that halo effect honey we're not doing that in 2020 you guys next we're going to go ahead and start with skin and I'm taking the pixie skin treats this is the h2o skin drink their pure hydration gel and I'm going to apply that all over the skin for moisture and then I'm going to go in with this um, Laura Mercier um prepare i cannot talk today you guys the pure canvas primer this is their blurring this is supposed to be silicone free um so i will say it's a lot matter matter i don't know if that's a word but it's a lot matte um than my last one that i was using i think i was using blemish list which is pretty much the same but i feel like i like the texture of the new primer a lot better so next I'm gonna go in with my foundation. I'm just using the NARS at the top on my forehead. And then I'm gonna go in today with my uh, Makeup Forever. Next, I'm taking my Derma Blend Cover Cream and I'm gonna apply that underneath the eyes. And this is in the Chroma number five. So next I'm gonna go in with my concealers. And today I'm taking the ColourPop concealer and then I'm also going to go in with the Double Duty Tarte Concealer Shape Tape. And this one's gonna be in the color Medium Tan Golden. And I'm just gonna apply that underneath the eyes and then blend that in as well. I'm using the contour stick from Juvia's Place as well. 
and I'm going to go ahead and buff that out with my sponge as well as with my beauty blender um, just for time purposes. You guys know that I rarely use a beauty blender, but I will say um, kind of liking it a little bit. I still love my sponges though because it's just, you know, a little bit more sanitary. I'm gonna prime the eye and I'm priming it with the same concealers. I'm gonna be using the LA Girl mixed with the Tarte. And I'm just gonna buff that out with a fluffy brush. And this is like a really, really inexpensive cheap brush. It's a dollar. Um, after I get that concealer buffed out, I'm then gonna go in with my Juvia's Place Palette and I'm taking these two eyeshadows. Um, the brown which is like the darker reddish brown and then I'm going to take that red and start moving that into the crease and blending it with this fluffy shadow brush I'm next going in and grabbing this the more orangey eyeshadow the orange brown and I'm just gonna put that right above that red it's gonna be my transition color and so I'm just going to make sure that it's nicely blended. And next I'm going to go in with a dark brown eyeshadow. And I'm just going to apply that in the outer V sections of the eye. Um, now with this one, I believe I grabbed the Chocolates palette, which is their mini palette from Juvia's Place. And I'm just going to go ahead and buff that out with a small shadow brush. Next I'm going to go in and cut my crease and I'm just taking a flat shader brush. And I'm not going to do like a really dramatic cut crease, but just something that's soft and wearable. That's the look that we're going for today. So that's why I really wasn't focused on having it like a perfect, perfect cut crease because ultimately we're going to go ahead and blend a little bit of it. All right, so I'm just taking that shadow brush that we use for the brown and just not really applying any more brown eyeshadow, but just using the excess off the brush. Next, we're gonna go in with that same palette from Juvia's Place. We're gonna take that sort of, I guess it's like a ruby color. I don't know, I don't know how to explain it, but it's like a shimmery pinkish red. And I am going to apply that right next to that brown. Now it's coming off like a coppery, but like with the light, you can kind of see that it has those pink and berry undertones. Next, we're going to go in with this beautiful glitter from Makeup Addiction. This is in the color Kaleidoscopes. And I'm just going to apply that right on the eyelid. So I'm just going to use that empty space and just apply it. It's really, really shimmery. I mean, it is a glitter, but it is very fine. So you won't be able to see the sparkles until like I look up at the camera, but you can always see that sheen. So it's really, really gorgeous, you guys. I have another look with um, a different glitter from them. Definitely check them out. So next, we're going to go in and apply my eyeliner, and I'm taking the NYX Matte Liner. And honestly, this has become like my fave. Like, what eyeliner is your fave at this moment? I think this is mine right now. I'm gonna apply a few coats of mascara and I'm taking the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. And then I'm gonna pop on my lashes. And I'm just gonna make sure that everything is buffed in underneath the eyes using my Beauty Blender to kinda press that into the skin. And then I'm gonna take the Beauty Bakery Powder and I am mixing it. Um, I am mixing it with my Laura Mercier. Um, and I'm just going to put that underneath the eyes as well as right underneath my contour. Just to make it a little sharp and so it can pop. 
Alright, so for the contour, um, I'm going to use the lip bar and this one is in double date. Definitely check them out. I'm just going to go ahead and use that darker shade, but I'm also going to go in for my nose and to kind of soften it up on the edges. I'm just going to apply that lighter shade in the Black Radiance um, palette. <laughs> So I'm going to place those same colors on the lower lash line, just taking that reddish brown as well, mixed with that red, and just popping it there. And then I will go ahead and add my powder and wipe off the excess powder on the face. So the blush that I'm using is also going to be in the Double Date Duo that I used for the contour. Um, after I apply that, I'm going to go in with my lips and I am using BFF4 from ColourPop Cosmetics and I'm going to apply that on my lips. Cosmetics. Now I used two different colors. The first one I didn't really care for because it wasn't giving me that peach effect that I wanted. And so what I did is ended up taking New Potion from Ofra. And All right, so next I'm going to go in and apply my highlighter. And I'm using the Makeup Addiction highlighter. And I believe this one is in Snow Gold. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, but I'll link it down below for you guys so you can find it. You guys, I love this brush from applying my highlighter. I have another one, um, but it's a white one. But you guys... I'm gonna put a few coats of mascara on my lower lash line and you guys this is the finished look I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial full face full hair I was hoping to get a outfit video for you guys as well for V-Day but unfortunately I wasn't able to get that all completed but I'm gonna try to have something soon now I did decide to go ahead and pop on a lip gloss from NARS I will link everything down below if you guys enjoyed this tutorial, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and share it. Share it with anybody who loves a good glam. If you do decide to check it out and actually recreate, go ahead and tag me. Y'all, thank y'all so much for watching and I will see y'all in my next video later.